I was studying architecture at the university and then I wasn't a massive fan of the subject itself. I was much more interested in the structure behind the building. Some of the projects which, which we was learning about at university were, were Arab projects. And then there were six companies I applied for. None of the projects were as good as the ones at Arab. We make 3D models which are linked to drawings. So we make drawing sheets which go out on site for people to use. And then we make the models as well for coordination with architects and other types of engineers, like mechanical engineers, for instance. But we use a software called Revit mainly, which is a, a 3D tool which has all the stuff built in. The thing I enjoy most about Arab is how willing they are to let you learn. And they, they, they encourage you to learn. Like they send you on courses and they give you plans for your future, like what you're going to do like from quite early on. And they try and get you to learn as many different tools as you can so that you can be as versatile and useful as possible. The first time that one of my projects finished and I got to see the, pit, um, the photos of the site, that was, that was quite a good feeling. Because when you're staring at the, same, at the same images all the time, and working on it for a long time, it's quite good to see something complete, especially when it takes a couple of years. My key piece of advice would be to make sure you ask questions. And don't be nervous, everyone's really friendly here. No one's, no one's unapproachable, unless it's a really busy day, but then you can sort of tell when they are or not. But ask questions is the best thing I've ever